Ever since Rockstar made the cowardly decision to lower the maximum number of wanted stars from 6 to 5, I haven't been able to sleep at night. I'm so tired. Before, I used to be able to go for a peaceful stroll around the city, but now I can't even go to the corner store without my RPG. So my method of protesting this change is to stop all crimes, including my own. In this playthrough of Grand Theft Auto V, I tried to find out what is the minimum number of wanted stars I can earn while completing the story. There aren't too many rules for this playthrough, I'm basing everything off of the stats page for Michael, Franklin, and Trevor, which lists wanted stars attained under the Crimes tab. No matter what happens in missions or outside, I will always be referring to the stat to increase my count. Anyway, I tried to avoid crime as much as I could, or at least to the extent that I wouldn't earn unnecessary wanted stars. I'm not using glitches for this, or cheat codes, and I'm playing through every mission required to complete the main story, so let's do this from the very beginning of a new game all the way until the end when the credits roll. The story began with friendly bank robbers Michael, Trevor, and Brad, who took a score from this bank in the middle of nowhere at North Yankton. Very quickly, the group got five wanted stars, which is super unfortunate for me. But then I had a better idea. Let's just pin them all on Brad. And luckily, the prologue didn't count this towards my stats yet. Cut to 2013, and the story shifted to Franklin, who is on his way to repo some cars with Lamar. Racing through Los Santos for the first time is an unmatched experience, and Lamar had a good time running this guy over while I crashed. Of course, there is a segment here that acts as a tutorial for wanted stars, and it forced two of them on me. This was unavoidable, and sadly, on just the second mission, I had to add two wanted stars to my count. Maybe you got rid of that old yee yee ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. What? Man, even the UI roasting Franklin. The next mission involved stealing a bike for Simeon, which resulted in a shootout, a free bike, and no wanted stars. On my next repo, Michael surprised me and I had to drive the car into Simeon's dealership. I beat him up and took control of Michael. I didn't have a car at this point and I didn't want to risk getting wanted stars, so I called a cab but then accidentally stole that, so I had to reload the save. <gasps> Franklin and Michael started to hit it off, but I found out Michael's son Jimmy was in his yacht, which was being stolen on the freeway. So I took Franklin to rescue Jimmy, oh, skill issue, and shot at the yacht, but the police didn't care. I carefully took the car over to Los Santos Customs and switched to Franklin, who did a quick towing job for Tanya. We on that like ugly on your mama. And on my way between missions, I ran over a guy stealing someone's wallet. Killing in these random robberies never seemed to give me wanted stars and was in fact socially acceptable in Los Santos. See, this is what it's about, community. Speaking of community, we met up with a nice guy from another gang, D, and went for a run with him. <laughs> Chop helped me track him down and after a bit of fun, Come on, Chop. we took D with us and then let him go because Lamar screwed up. Back to Michael's story, I found Amanda playing off-court with the tennis coach, and I chased him to a suspiciously nice house. I found out that it wasn't his and fought off some attackers without wanted stars before being introduced to Mark Madrazo. <laughs> Following this, I went to spend some quality time with my son, and we went for a nice bike ride. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. If I could get wanted stars right now, trust me, I would. I went to rescue Tracy, and I greeted her friends the same way I greeted Jimmy. These guys started shooting at us, and I wanted to shoot back, but I was worried doing that would give me wanted stars, so I chose to evade them. At this point, I needed money to pay off Martin Madrazo, whose house I pulled off a cliff. Luckily, my old friend Lester knew exactly how to help, so I went to see him. Unfortunately, I couldn't find Michael's car once I started this mission, so I had to take a taxi to buy this gorgeous vest, then to the Life Invader office where this expert programmer couldn't figure out how to close some pop-ups. Oh, hang on, I might be interested in that one. I installed some RAM on Zuck, I mean Jay Norris's phone, and I couldn't use my phone to call another cab, so I ended up walking back to Michael's house to watch the explosive new demo. <laughs> I switched back to Franklin and had to pick up some guns with Lamar and Stretch, but I managed to fail the mission because the game called me broke. Ain't got nothing to do with the two gentlemen of fellow nature. That's right. Man, even Lamar and Stretch don't want to associate with me. Then I had to shoot my way out of a bad deal, which unfortunately gave me three wanted stars when escaping. I tried to skip it, but this was unavoidable, and all I could do was try to not let it get up to four stars. So that's three more for Franklin's count. On my way to drive to the next mission, I came across a random encounter, and I waited for this guy to move out of the way, but he started shooting at me, so I ran him over and didn't get any wanted stars for it. 
Lester brought up my goat, Nico Bellic, from GTA 4. An Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City. Now he went quiet. Then we went to scope out the jewel store, and I took some photos and checked out the roof. Not as far as I know. I made sure their vents were up to standard, and then I took this clever shortcut down. Ah! Then we planned our first heist, which had two options, smart or loud. I am neither, but the loud way would require stealing a truck with carbine rifles that would give me a 3 star wanted level, whereas the smart way required stealing a pest control truck and gas canisters, which, from what I found, would only give me 1 star. So the smart way seemed like the more appealing option. I also went with an expensive crew just because I didn't want anyone to mess up and somehow cause my wanted level to go up as a result. I got a pistol suppressor from Ammunition before stealing the pest control van, and on my way there, I got a call from Amanda who was caught shoplifting. I had the option to come save her and get the side mission, The Good Husband, but doing so would require stealing a cop car and instantly getting wanted stars, so I opted instead to let her be. Yeah, but see, if I help you out, you're never gonna learn. I stole the Bug Stars van in stealth because if you're too loud, the game gives you two wanted stars. Call the cops, he's crazy! So I snuck in, took out this one guy, and then stole the van with no wanted level. Next I needed this truck with gas grenades, and at first I wanted to ram the truck driver into a wall so he'd die in a crash and not cause trouble, but eventually he got out of the truck and started shooting, which alerted police. I ended up just shooting him and received no wanted stars. Lucky, but simple enough. Completing this mission led directly to the next one and the start of the heist. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. The plan is simple. Everybody goes to sleep with Lester. No problem. We take our time. Now, uh, once it's down, you signal Michael. He makes the call. Any questions? What? No? Let's go. The heist started off pretty smooth, and getting in and stealing jewels was easy. But on the way out, there was an automatic 4-star wanted level, regardless of the loud or smart strategy. This got pinned on Franklin since he was the character being controlled when the wanted level appeared. Michael had zero wanted stars despite me controlling him during this mission, so I concluded that the wanted stars just get pinned on whoever is being controlled when the wanted level first activates. I was able to escape the police and make it away with my cut of money. After tuning into the news featuring this massive snitch, I got to switch over to Trevor. You'll forget thousands of things every day. You'll make sure this is one of them. I used to hate him when I first played this game because I was a huge fan of GTA 4 and sunk a lot of hours into the Lost and Damned DLC, where you play as Johnny, who Trevor murders in the first 5 minutes of playing as him, but I think myself and all 10 other Lost and Damned fans moved on. As Trevor, I went on a rampage with Ron and Wade to take out the rest of the Lost, I took care of some business dealings, and then had a massive shootout with the Aztecas. And finally, I cleared the lost off this airfield. I even kept one alive as a souvenir, and as the saying goes, if you love something, let it go, and if it comes back, it was meant to be. Well, the man on my wing! Sadly, he did not come back. Mr. Chang didn't want to do business with me, so I took out the O'Neills, and luckily I was able to get Elwood O'Neill's brother, uncle, father, and grandpa in one shot. Good old joke! I burned down the farm in this badass slow-mo shot, and the police didn't care about any of that because Trevor is an innocent man. Somehow the law still had numbers, so I gave them a few sticky bombs as a going away gift. And once again the police didn't show up. I drove with Wade to Los Santos and attempted some off-roading to speed up my trip, which ended up adding time. I got to meet Wade's cousin Floyd, and I could tell pretty quickly that we were going to be great friends. Here, he's gonna smoke meth here! After Trevor and Michael's touching reunion... Somebody say yoga? Trevor? Michael. It's good to see you, man. Mm, yeah, I bet it is. Fake your own deaths to your best buddy. That's great. I'm sorry. Who are you? I must stay. I'm Fabian. Where's Tracy? Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta! Sadly, our favorite radio and TV personality from GTA 4, Laszlo, turned out to be a creep, so naturally we threatened to blackmail him. With Trevor back in the picture, Michael went to see his FIB bestie, who knocked him out and sent him to search for a body in the morgue. On the way out, sadly, there was a forced 3 star wanted level put on me that I couldn't avoid, so add 3 to Michael's count. I eventually evaded it and met up with Franklin. In the most painful mission yet, I had to do some yoga, which was slow. Nah, Michael, f yourself. Michael!
Michael! Genuinely no idea why someone would willingly choose to do this activity in the game. I went to McDonald's with Jimmy and we tried the Grimace shake. Happy birthday, Grimace! <laughs> I woke up in some grass outside the house, which was empty. At this point, Michael was down bad. Three wanted stars, drugs still wearing off, wife left him for a yogi, kids stole money, car impounded, best friend a psycho, rent overdue, hairline receding, poor sense of balance, drinking problem. It was bad. I switched over to Trevor, who was drunk, so being responsible, I pulled over and sobered up with the sponsor of today's video, Sprunk. <clears throat> then I walked to Floyd's place. I went with Floyd and Wade for an honest day's work, and then I introduced Floyd to some nice co-workers. At the end, I had to decide for the Meriwether heist if I should go for the freighter or offshore. Going offshore would require a helicopter and enabled the mission Cargo Bob. In this mission, I would have had to steal a helicopter from the military base and automatically get four wanted stars, so instead I opted for the freighter where I could get off with nothing. As the FIB's new lapdog, Michael teamed up with Trevor and Franklin to kidnap someone from the IAA, and I had to shoot a bunch of agents. Luckily, since I was working for the FIB, and the FIB are the good guys, I didn't get any wanted stars here. I invested all my money in beta pharmaceuticals before starting the hotel assassination, and low-key kinda messed it up, but money is never really an issue in this game anyway. I bought a sniper with a silencer to take out the target and made sure to very stealthily dive headfirst off the back of this parking structure so the bodyguards didn't see me and I could get away clean. I tortured this nice hi-fi salesman for the FIB the best way I knew how. Somebody say yoga? It shouldn't be legal! Also, Trevor waterboarded him. Meanwhile, Michael drove around with Davey looking for the target, who I was able to quickly take out. I went to visit Grove Street from GTA San Andreas, and I got this beautiful brick of drywall. As Trevor and Franklin, I had to shoot my way through until the police arrived, causing a 3-star wanted level on the way out. The wanted stars were added to the stats of whoever I was controlling at the time they first appeared, which ended up being Franklin. Partly, I also wanted to see at this point if I could keep Trevor at zero, and together, we escaped the police with three more stars. I started on some prep for the Meriwether heist, and I managed to steal the submarine from the harbor without alerting any guards on the ship. The crew headed to the water for the Meriwether heist, and despite all the gunfire, there were no wanted stars involved in this one. I shot the guards on the ship and took out the ones that appeared in cars and a helicopter, but the police stayed out of it. I stole a super weapon before promptly returning it and made it through this heist pretty easily. We set up for another heist shortly after, and I got straight to work. Listen, some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. First, I needed a garbage truck for the next heist, and no matter what I did, the game was intent on giving me two wanted stars. I had to evade the cops, and after a couple of tries, I took my two stars. But I replayed this again and tried killing both garbage men so as to not leave any witnesses, and that seemed to do the trick. I stole the truck with no wanted level. I actually discovered this after doing the rest of the prep for the heist, and my save file went back to before the Meriwether heist, so I had to redo all of that and the prep for the next heist. Oh, no! But I was determined. I purchased my heist outfits, stealthily took out this guy with the tow truck, and had to deal with security while grabbing my getaway car. Uh, he's just standing there, menacingly! I really liked this car, so I sniped security, and an ambulance came looking for him. Miss Keisha! Miss Keisha! Miss Keisha! Oh my fucking god, she fucking dead. And I parked my getaway car here. For this heist, I needed to rob an armored truck, and doing so immediately gave me an automatic 4-star wanted level. During this, I fought off police and played as all three main characters. I accidentally killed myself as Trevor in the middle of this, but I continued anyway. After clearing the area and driving off in a garbage truck, I then had to blow it up and get in my getaway car. I checked my stats and saw that Trevor had gained two stars. Presumably this was from when I died during the heist and restarted a checkpoint, so I redid the entire mission, and after driving away and losing my wanted level, I had no new wanted stars added to my count. Devin Weston tried really hard to recruit me, but I stood my ground. Solomon Richards. Man, Solomon Richards. I went to meet my favorite movie producer, beat the hell out of this guy Rocco, and flew these movie stars under a bridge until they agreed to cooperate. Devin Weston needed me to steal some cars, so I did some roleplay for him, pretending to be a cop. I pulled them over and brought their cars to Devin Weston. Next, I had to control Trevor in this helicopter to track a Z-Type. 
Once I got control of Franklin, I had to take out the driver because if I spared him, he would call the police and that would trigger a 2 star wanted level. Quietly taking him out meant no wanted stars. After this mission, I also finally sold all my stock from the first assassination mission. Also, while playing as Michael, I decided to upgrade Amanda's car, and I went with this pink theme for the Barbie movie. I met Martin Madrazo for a job and sniped this jet before chasing it down as Trevor. After taking out the target, Trevor decided to hang out with Martin's wife. I switched back to Franklin, and he was with Chop. I escorted him home, and he scared me at one point with this jump, but he got back up and made it safely. I then went to steal another car for Devin Weston from the movie studio. I had to shoot some guys chasing me, but no wanted stars. As Trevor, I wanted to steal a cargo plane for my favorite private military company Meriwether, but sadly, they quickly shot that idea down. Hey! You wouldn't shoot me down anyway! I'm here! I'm here! This goose is cooked, Ron! Run! Run, you hear me? I went to scope out this bank for our next heist and triggered the alarm. Luckily, the police didn't see me, and I didn't get any wanted stars, so I just raced back to Trevor's hideout to eat some delicious chili. I also recruited Chef to be on the crew for the Polito heist. Franklin spotted the last few O'Neills, so all three of us went to hunt them down and take them out with orders. Rip to that bloodline. Anyway, on the way to my next mission, this hitchhiker asked to be picked up and was dumb enough to attempt to rob me, so I quickly took him out. Out of the car now, or I'll... As Trevor, I convinced this military caravan to stop and borrowed their truck. This was easy, and I didn't have any cops on me, but I double-checked my stats after and saw that I had one wanted star as Trevor. I had no idea where this was from, but sadly I had to revert my save, and I lost nearly two hours of progress because I'm a clown who forgot to save. At this point, I had to replay five missions. Deep Inside, Minor Turbulence, Polito Score Setup, Predator, and Military Hardware. I cooled down after having to replay those missions by watching this cute dog play with some random lady. Oh god! After some quick setup, I went with the boys to go rob a bank. Sadly, the game automatically gave me 5 wanted stars when I started the heist, and it also switched me to Trevor, so this was an unavoidable 5 stars for him. I even restarted the heist and made sure I picked Michael, but during this cutscene, it switches control to Trevor right as I gain the wanted stars, so sadly, I had to take them. To make matters worse, I switched to Franklin who wasn't wanted, and after crashing into a few military vehicles, I got 5 wanted stars again, but since I went from no wanted stars to 5, Franklin also had 5 added to his total. So now we've officially ruined the challenge with every character, having wanted stars, and on top of that, the Polito Bay heist was responsible for a grand total of 10 of them. Following the heist, you'd expect the group to lay low, so naturally I drove Trevor onto this train, and after a few failed attempts, I made it on and reached the engine. Once again, Trevor delivered with an epic action cutscene. I took out some Meriwether boats, and Michael and I easily made it to shore with no wanted stars and a gift for Martin Madrazo. I got a call afterward about another heist, and on the way, I picked up this very normal and friendly hitchhiker, Ursula. This guy who picked me up the other week wasn't okay, he choked to death on his own hand. Then it was on to the next big mission for the FIB. I swam with Brad and Davey to steal a nerve toxin, and along the way had to take out some scientists and fight the military. Luckily, it didn't seem like there were any wanted stars. Except, after beating the mission, I found that there were 4 wanted stars added to Michael's stats, even though I never saw a wanted level during the mission. I died twice, so it may be some kind of internal wanted level that triggers the stats when restarting a checkpoint. I was very confused and annoyed, so I did have to reload a save, lost an hour of progress, and had to redo the last two missions. After this, I also finally chose to customize Trevor's truck. I was certain that these truck upgrades would impress Deborah, who was lovely. Look, Deborah! Floyd! Will you marry me? Unsurprisingly, they both said yes. To celebrate my new engagement, I made my way with Wade to the strip club. I drove with Franklin and Michael to check out the Union Depository for the big heist, and then I flew over with Trevor and Lester. Trevor kept bringing up Brad, Brad, and I began to worry. Exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. 
I hate to say it, I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. In a shootout, Trevor's roommate got kidnapped by Chang's gang, and Trevor made it back to Sandy Shores with no issue. I went to deliver the stolen cars to Devon Weston, which was a short 8 mile drive. Along the way, there was a forced wanted level, and of course, it got added to the stats. At one point, I had to control Franklin and take out some cops chasing us. This car veered out of nowhere and messed me up. Okay, but seriously, there's not even a road or a driveway. It's literally a fence. Why would he turn there? Why? This forced me to restart a checkpoint with a wanted level, and therefore I had to restart the mission. So I replayed the mission, promptly killed myself three times to skip the boring drive, and got to the checkpoint with wanted stars. These all got put on Trevor, and even though the level changed from 2 to 3 to 1, it was just three stars added to Trevor. Finally, Franklin was free from the burden of always getting the group's wanted stars. I reached the end and accidentally shot at Molly and scared her off. Luckily, the previous checkpoint was in the middle of the wanted section, so that meant I had to restart the mission again! I became sick of this mission fast. It's not even difficult, I just managed to fail in different ways every time. At the end of it, Trevor had three more wanted stars, and Franklin didn't gain any. Cars delivered, and we basically got paid in exposure. And of course, this mission ends up at the top of the map, so I tried to call a taxi and was told they were all busy. Sorry, all drivers are busy right now. Thank god a train was going by, so I took that back to Los Santos. Trevor came by to hang out with Franklin What's up, homie, huh? <laughs> and beat the hell out of this random dude. Ah! Difficult childhood. I went to find Michael's location and literally got him off the hook while I watched all these other guys fall into glorified saw traps. I committed a quick murder for Solomon Richards, and in return I found out that Michael DeSanta would get an IMDb page with producer credits. We needed some supplies to break into the FIB, and in this enthralling mission, Michael waited outside of a parking garage to tail a janitor. Here we go. Uh, not our guy. This is not the car. Nope. There she is. After a long break, Jimmy finally came home and I told him, I don't have the money to buy you a car. Me when I lie. We went to pick up Amanda. Shut up! Okay, maybe I'll buy you a car now. Then I picked up Tracy and I gave Laszlo a quick makeover. There we go. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey! The family got some well-deserved therapy and I accidentally killed someone on the way home, but hey, we made it home. After reuniting my family, I did one optional mission and helped Tracy deal with a stalker by murdering him, which seemed to upset her a little bit, but she got over it. Thanks, Daddy! After helping Tracy, I needed to help Solomon Richards, whose new movie was going to be destroyed, and after a police chase and some heart-to-heart -heart with Molly, she agreed to give back the film reel. There was a bit of a misunderstanding, and during the chase, I received a 3-star wanted level that I couldn't avoid. So that's three more for Michael. I had to escape the police, and my car got mangled, but at least the sunroof still worked. Meanwhile, Franklin went to this construction site and had to get the architect's plan. First I threatened him, which was stupid because I got wanted stars, so I had to redo it, and I stealthily knocked the architect out to get his plans with no stars. For the bureau heist, I chose roof entry since the fire crew strategy required me to steal a fire truck, which would likely give me a wanted star, and I wanted to avoid that completely. In the raid, I had to hack the mainframe, shoot my way out of the building, rappel down, and make my getaway in an ambulance. I chose the most expensive crew, and even though nobody can die here, well, except for this one random guy in the helicopter, he didn't make it. You sure, man? Cause he might be a- oh! Oh! No, he didn't make it. Rip, I guess. An inexperienced driver would show up late and automatically give me a 4-star wanted level. Where's our getaway? Whereas my experienced driver brought in an ambulance that the group could sneak away in and avoid detection. I went to meet Davey at the observatory, and instead of meeting him around back, I went through a suspiciously extensive interior. I'm sure there won't be any kind of action here though. Shockingly, I was betrayed by Steve Haynes and his sidekick, and had to fight off the FIB, Meriwether, and my internal demons. <laughs> Trevor saved me, and after a shootout, I made it away with ease. Since these are all FIB, and FIB is the bad guys, no wanted stars here. <sighs> Somehow, Lamar got set up again. I brought the whole crew to go rescue Lamar from this remote sawmill and had to take out a ton of enemies in the way. I kinda just ran in, but it worked out. Still, a long drive, which I nearly messed up by crashing into people, but no wanted stars. 
The FIB tried to talk me into killing Trevor, so I knew I'd have to start thinking about which ending I was going to pick. You're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture, oh me? Well, he's been close-ish to a pasture. Soon, it was time for Michael's big movie premiere, and I got picked up by a limo, and man was this limo driver terrible. This is my story and become really judgmental. But eventually, we arrived at the big premiere. We did it! I'm about to end this man's whole career. <laughs> I said hi to my friend Laszlo, and then had to return home to fight off Meriwether and save Michael's family. And I swear, the hitboxes were weird for this one. Just Meriwether, no cops, and no wanted stars. The fuck off me! <sighs> Finally, it was time to plan the final heist. For this, I chose a subtle approach, but either way, I would need to steal a vehicle and potentially earn wanted stars. I went with the most expensive crew to be safe, which should have pained me because they took over 60% of the money, but hey, I already had more money than I'd need. First, I needed to sneak by the back of the police station and stealthily steal this van full of weapons to avoid any wanted stars. Next, I had to steal a few gauntlets for getaway cars, and quite honestly, I don't know why the game emailed me the location instead of just marking it on the map. Like, you gave me the location anyway, so why not mark it? Anyway, I got all three cars and prepared for the big score. Honestly, the final heist was kind of underwhelming because the subtle way just involved sneaking in and being handed the gold. I had to fight off Meriwether as we loaded up the getaway cars, and after taking them out, my control switched to Franklin, and I was forced to take five wanted stars. I made my getaway, and that was that. An easy heist for how much the characters hyped it up. And just like that, I was at the end of the game. Shortly after the heist, I got a visit from Devin Weston asking me to kill Michael. I had to decide whether to kill Trevor, Michael, or neither. I wanted to kill neither, but that meant killing our FIB buddy Steve Haynes, which would give me two wanted stars. I needed to avoid that, so it was either Trevor or Michael. Now unfortunately for Trevor, I didn't forget when he killed my third favorite protagonist from GTA 4 and its DLC. I was still upset with him, so I burned him alive. And that was that. The city was saved, Franklin and Michael were millionaires, and crime in Los Santos was still alive and well. Did it, Patrick! We saved the city! So to sum it all up, at the end of the game I had 6 stars as Michael, 8 stars as Trevor, and 22 stars as Franklin for 36 wanted stars overall. As far as I'm aware, there isn't a better way to get these numbers down without glitches since all the wanted stars essentially came from scripted sections and missions, but if you think any of these can be avoided, please let me know in the comments. I had a lot of fun replaying GTA 5, and if you guys enjoy this, I may do a challenge for GTA 4 in the future. Let me know what you guys thought of the video, subscribe to Epic Cakes Gaming if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.